Early in their marriage, coffee company owners Sandy and Trish Toomer weren't concerned about saving money. They just wanted to enjoy it. I had a good job. She had a good job. You know, went to Mexico. We did different things. We spent everything we made, and there was nothing to show for it. But this lifestyle left both of them feeling lost and empty, until finally. God got hold of me, and I said, I've really messed up, and I repented that day. I was smoking. I was drinking. The Holy Spirit said, you need to make a choice. I got down off the bed, and that's where I got saved. That's where I prayed to receive it was that night. From then on, the couple dedicated their lives and their finances to the Lord. It wasn't until the Lord got us both right with Him that we jumped into tithing. We started doing the 10% thing just immediately. We weren't rich, but we always had what we needed for what we needed to do. So when we had opportunities to give extra, we would give it. A few years later, God opened the door for Sandy to attend Moody Bible College's School of Missionary Aviation to become a pilot, his lifelong dream. Financially, it would be a leap of faith. And I said, well, this is God's plan. Then he'll take care of that. While confident in God's faithfulness to provide, the couple grew concerned about the mounting bills. The worries came when, you know, it was five cents in our bank account and $900 worth of bills on the table. And I'm going like, what are we going to do? And he says, well, let's just pray about it, Trish, you know, and he prayed. And then afterwards, I said, go get the mail. And there was that $900 check the whole day sitting in the mailbox. And there was a note that says, God told us last week you were going to need this. And it was from a group of women at uh, the church I grew up in, actually in West Virginia. And they had already decided to give it to us and put it in the mail way before we knew we needed it. Eventually, Sandy earned his wings. So that's how God works. Yeah, you know, He knows what we need tomorrow. We just have to stand firm and trust. The couple spent nearly a decade in South America as Sandy flew hundreds of missions into remote areas. In 2004, they retired from the missions field and discovered God's plan for their next adventure, a coffee shop. It was a struggle the first few years. I knew the Lord would take care of us, but working a small business like that is a, it's a walk of faith. Sandy and Trish continued giving and their business grew. Eventually, they began roasting their own coffee and selling it wholesale. Our business has been growing since 2013. We started tracking in it. It's been growing about 30 to 40 percent a year, year over year. As their business continues to thrive, Sandy and Trish remain committed to giving. With our business, we look at it as a giving kind of a machine. That's the focus of our business, is, believe it or not, is not to sell coffee, is to generate a tithe that will go out to missionaries. Just our whole life is richer in different ways. And I believe it stems from having that heart to give. There is no better blessing than to be a, a giver. And it's like after you take that step of faith, God's not going to let you fall. It's not His character. He's going to just swoop right under you and lift you up.